love of God, please. Shh, quiet. She might be listening. Shh. Shh. Do I try and forget you, woman? Shh. Throaty. To the gentleman's den. Mm. Jeff. No Frankie because he's quarantined. <laughs> so we got Kellen sitting in. You mean just another day for Francis? Yeah, he's sitting not in leaving the basement. the basement. I am sure. Not really quarantined. <laughs> yes, we are filming a podcast today because we're rebels. All right, Stu, get back on your chair there, bud. How do we do it? So, Jeff. So, Frankie's gone. Special guest, Kellen. What up, bro? What's up, guy? You're looking fresh. Hell we got yeah. our St. Patty's finest on. Milady's birthday party. She would not be denied. So, we kept it under 10. Okay? So, everyone don't freak out. We're under 10 people over here. And we don't have the whole six feet between us, but. No, we don't. I mean, we're but all right. Oh, like we said earlier, I was closer to someone in the line at the supermarket, you know, trying to check out than we are right now. So oh, absolutely. We're good. That old lady breathing into the back of my neck. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not going to get him videoly, but we will get him audioly. What? What? What are you even talking about? We're going to have a special guest on, guys. I'm working on it right now. A special guest. I don't even hear him in my headset. Who is this? What's up, dude? Can, good, bud. <gasps> Can you hear us? Yes. Be- beautiful, because we can't hear you, so I'm going to put it on top of the microphone. What is going on, Sean, with this fucking piss-poor production? Hey, listen. <laughs> audio, man. I'm telling you, it's a son of a bitch. I thought we were going to get Facebook Messenger. BJ. Uh, BJ Raniac, uh, everybody. Uh, speakerphone? Yeah, we got you on speaker. Okay, cool. So, yes, BJ is uh, here on FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to uh, let us show his uh, the trailer for Blame. Yeah, buddy. It is ready. It is out. The world has seen it. At least a few thousand people, which is nice. Um, that's cool. Uh yeah. Yeah. So set it up. Any shout out special thanks before we show this trailer? Or? Holy crap. There's the list of special thanks is ridiculous, <laughs> so I might not do that because I'll forget someone and piss right. them off. But um, it is, we weren't going to share this until later this year because the movie's not going to come out until probably fall or winter. Um, and with everything that's going on in the world, we just figured, you know, people need a, they need an outlet, they need a release, they need to turn their brains off and enjoy some sort of entertainment, and so that's what we just said, let's let's just drop it, let's do it. And um, it's been a pretty, it's only been live for two hours, and it's been uh, a lot of positive reactions, so we're really, really excited about that. Um, I am going to be working on this all quarantine. <laughs> so, uh, it's, you know, in a nutshell or, or in, a, in a twisted sort of way, it might be a good thing, you know, allows me to focus more and get stuff done because, you know, day jobs are fun and all, but if I can edit during the day, it's a lot better. Um, so we're going to get it completed. Uh, it'll be ready by the summer, so we may do some, like, private screenings and stuff coming up, so I'll let you guys know about any of those details, but for right now, just enjoy the fool out of this thing. Share it with as many people as you possibly can because the point we're trying to make is as independent artists, the power of the internet and in getting the word out there for what we can do and what we can create without having to spend millions of dollars and you know crazy budgets. It's pretty neat what we can do um, just as a unified team, artists in general. So that's the the world we're, we're trying to reach out to as other independent people and let them know that we're here in Wisconsin we're going to keep making movies in Wisconsin this is our second one and we're really proud of what we're kind of putting out into the world all right brother heck yeah man we're excited for you cool who Thank can you. you 
whocanyoublame.com, right? Yeah, so if you go right there, the trailer's embedded from Facebook right on the homepage, and it'll you just press play, it's right there. So whocanyoublame.com, um, the Facebook page, like I said, go crazy sharing, and next week we might put it on Instagram too. So, How yeah. Well, it's going to be on the uh, Gentleman's Den podcast, which will be on YouTube uh, eventually this week. So, Awesome. Yeah, I'll try and put a link in the description and all that jazz. So, Yes, sir. And we're looking forward to having you back on again. Yeah, I am looking forward to it as well. It's my C2E2 brothers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bud. We will, uh, cool. We're going to show the, show the old uh, trailer, and uh, you have a good night. Enjoy your quarantine. <laughs> Thanks, you too. <laughs> Later, bud. Later, bud. That's right, folks. Go to whocanyoublame.com to watch that trailer. Go on Facebook and find it. Uh, it's I'm amped to see it. I really am. It looks good as hell, man, the trailer. I mean, forget <laughs> that, that. That movie's just locally made in, right here in right. Part of Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. That movie looks absolutely phenomenal. It looks like a legit, it's a legit-ass trailer. It's, it's going to be a legit-ass movie. I'm, I'm super pumped to see it. I can't wait for it to come out. Bruh. So, Too bad it wasn't out now. I got... Yeah. All the time in the world to watch movies. Well, that's the thing is, I'm I'm hoping BJ will uh, come back on and bring a his bootleg copy. <laughs> <laughs> Let us catch it before everybody else does. But at least made more like a little teaser clip. Yeah, some a little a little more in depth would be pretty good. It's in all honesty, it, for how it's shot, for everything and how it looks, it you would never know that it was made on you know a shoestring budget. It's it's shot phenomenally. It's <clears throat> Just go check it out. Who can you blame? dot com. I got it written down uh, this is the for the YouTube. Yeah. We'll put a link in the description. Harish. So, with that being said, shout out to BJ Raniac. Has anyone made a DVD that looks like a bootleg DVD? That'd be fucking amazing. Well, there's that Sublime acoustic CD that did that. Did they? So it looks like the DV. It, it was like a, it looked like a burnt. Like disc. a burnt disc, yeah. yeah you got from with, Walmart with written on. Uh, That's what you should do. I'm telling you, bro. You should make a uh, BJ. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm just saying, you know, get the bootleg DVD thing and then just write. Who can you blame on it? Or just blame. I'm telling you, bro. It's legit. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm in on my own shit. So we are all dressed in our St. Patty's gear because it is Kayla's birthday party. And she's uh, currently sitting with doohickeys on her head and beads texting randoms. Doesn't know what's going on. It's, you know, happy birthday to her. Well, unfortunately, yeah, happy birthday. Everyone's seen the memes about the March and April birthdays. Yeah. The one with Pablo Escobar just standing <laughs> all by himself in the empty yeah. pool. Yeah. That's how my lady, she was supposed to have all her friends over tonight. And obviously the quarantine's not allowing that. But just a couple of people getting together. And but I braved it. I got a really dry cough and I've been, you know, had a super high fever. But, you know. What? <laughs> I think that's, your that's from kissing your dog. A lot. Wow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no coronavirus. I have allergies. <laughs> that a boy. So back to the mixtapes. <laughs> <laughs> so and so people are still open and shit. Did you hear this guy got a job at Amazon just to put his mixtape stickers on packages? <laughs> oh, God. It's not a bad move. To I'm telling you, bro. Gentleman's Den. Sean, you want to get some stickers? I'm not working right now. I need something to do. <laughs> I'll go to Amazon and start putting gentlemen's den stickers on all the packages. You want to get the idea. word out, bro? It's not a bad idea. I need you here, Sean. I need hey, you. We're uh, we're working on it. until they do a complete <laughs> shutdown in Wisconsin. We just, will uh, we'll be here doing this podcast. Eventually, we'll get Frankie back on through Skype or something. He's uh he's in virtual reality right now, guys. I don't know if you guys know this, but. Reality is not really his thing. Virtuals. Where he shines. Yeah. He's he's in he's enjoying the uh the fruits of uh quarantine in Illinois where everything shut the fuck down. Yeah, that what, five o'clock today they shut everything down, right? Yeah. Yep, and then uh most likely by Tuesday it'll be Wisconsin too. Yeah. That's my guess. We ain't far behind. No. What about your work? You do like construction stuff. Yeah. Is that full steam ahead? Full steam ahead. Easy money. Well, I'm still I'm still on too until they cut shut down all non essentials. Yeah, yeah, we're we're still considered essential, so we don't have uh we don't have much to worry about with that shutdown going on. So there's a lot of people out there that just can't. They're just counting the days for the shutdown. Yeah, like, please, I want to stay home. You know, I I want the shutdown and I don't want the shutdown. I want the shutdown just so I can get shit done around the house. I don't yeah. want the shutdown is <laughs> because I don't want the fucking. I don't want the fucking, <laughs> the bullshit fucking. What did you just say? To get shit done around my uh. house. <laughs> oh, boy. Watching watching wrestling on YouTube's not getting shit done at your house. It's, it's bullshit. In yeah. your underwear. Your Go mom on. told me you watch wrestling in your underwear every Friday at noon. You can't watch SmackDown from 99. <laughs> so this is not being your underwear. <laughs> This is not true. These no. are facts, bro. She These took a picture and sent it to me. Yeah. I have it. It's right Never here. I told it. you what. Friday at two, huh? Friday at two? Oh yeah, noon. Uh-huh. Noon was too early. Sorry. That's when Golden Girls. After Golden Girls, wrestling oh. comes on. <laughs> Wait, you got. You, you, you got something track. against Golden Girls? Thank you for being a friend. Traveled down the road and back again. Oh, favorite Golden. I guess I see. I don't even know the theme song. I guess I'm not a true fan. Your I'm not a true believer. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Shiver his barge. So, uh. now that you have your phone back. What phone? What do we, uh, what do we got on the, uh, oh, dude, we the got list of doom? We got so much shit. I've been... Well, I mean, do you just want to get it right now? Let's fucking go. You want to go right now? Let's get you it. You want to go right now? You want to go right now with the Hobbs and Shaw? <laughs> oh, okay. New Hobbs and Shaw drinking game. So the quarantine has started. Hobbs and Shaw has just been released on HBO. And let me tell you guys, it might be the biggest pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. It's basically if every 80s tough guy movie all came on... A millennial's chest at the same time. Oh yeah! This is what would be made. Just steamrolled. <laughs> this, this is the movie that would come from it. Kellen, have you seen this? I haven't seen this yet. No. Oh my god! We can watch it after this podcast if you want to puke. 
<laughs> but what's funny is those old 80s movies were so cheesy and so badass. Like, back then they were awesome. Look at Roadhouse. How many people were like, yeah, throw rip, roundhouse. Oh, yeah. But watching it now, it's an instant, it's a comedy. Yeah. Commando's a comedy. Predator's a comedy. They've all turned into comedies. This movie didn't even hide the fact. That it's a comedy. I was waiting for The Rock and Jason Statham to just make out the whole fucking time. It literally, it, it, there. I was waiting for a shower sex scene between oh, no. both of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's they jerked each other off the entire fucking movie. What's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> Did you also notice? Put the lotion on your skin. <laughs> Did you also notice every time Jason Statham yelled, he yelled out of the corner of his eye. <laughs> yeah, eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he had a stroke when he started yelling. <laughs> the the one scene where they they walk into the fucking place and Statham's side has all the guys and the rocks doesn't. Yeah, just the one big just guy. Just the one big guy. <laughs> one big goofy fuck. It's the cheesiest fucking shit ever, but it's pure comedy the whole fucking time. <sighs> Jason it was St- fucking rough. Jason Statham's doing flips and kicking guys in the face, and The Rock punches one guy one time. Even Milady. So the movie, the movie is about to end, and The Rock's doing his you know cheesy shit that he always does. And Milady's like, "Did they even watch this before they released it?" <laughs> 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 like, how are you in the editing room and you were like, "Dude, we got a banger here. Can't wait. Release it." What the hell is that? What are these noises around here? Oh, there's little children. Didn't they get the memo that we're under lockdown? Kids running out? Outside? Nobody got the memo, honey. Happy birthday, by the way. So, Hobbs and Shaw, basically, if you want to watch two dudes basically hit on each other for fucking two... Was that movie two and a half hours long? I don't know. It's too long. If it would have just been 30 minutes of them making out and then they ended it, that would have been way better. Well, one of my favorite parts, I was jokingly, I text Jeff, and I'm like, we're naming this podcast this week the Horizontal Hula Sexy Sexy Time. Just because it's a fucking line from the movie. Just their banter back and forth was like 10-year-old boys. You know how 10-year-old, oh, you yeah. know, they just... Just talking shit. Have no idea how to do it yet, but they're just like your mom's a your mom's a butthole. But like, <laughs> that's what it was. They uh, made the uh, they uh, made each other's identities at one point. Oh, that was good. That and, that part I laughed out loud. And the Rock's identity was my Mike Coxmall. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Coxmall. I go by Michael. And then what was his at the end? I can't even remember. I don't even know, man. The whole Samoan thing at the end. It was like Hugh Janus or something like that. or This Samoan part at the end was just too much. That part. Professional chain throwers. I don't know. I laughed. (laughs) I laughed hard at that part because of the setup for it. I know a place where we can go. Home. Home. And of course, his family hasn't seen him. He hasn't been back in years. Since he got his father locked up. Uh, for stealing cars. And taking, his, taking his baby oil. <laughs> That's my baby oil, daddy. I don't like people fucking my baby oil. So, yeah, it's... it's <laughs> you're, so the drinking game is, every time you see something cheesy happen in this movie, you gotta drink. Ten minutes into the movie, hammered. Hammer drunk. I'm saying from the sound of this, it ain't gonna take long to get Dude, you, you at all. You're listening to us talk about this right now, yeah. and you're like, man, this sounds bad. I don't want to watch. And then you watch it, and you're like, it's even worse than it is. <laughs> yeah, it can't get any fuck. <laughs> it is worse. Like the the amount of cheese ball shit that goes. They're both fucking strapped with chains, and they've got jumper cables hooked to the fucking chains I, I, and they're uh, getting electrocuted and then they break out the whole fight scene before it happens <laughs> I'm going to get up and I'm going to take this arm of this chair and hit you right upside your head then I'm going to smash your face with this Yo, you can't smash that guy's face that's my face to smash the, f- <laughs> the Fast and Furious world they have superhumans 
I mean, they're swinging from 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 bridge to bridge on nimbly bimbly, <laughs> using fucking Tarzan tricks. I mean, what is this coming to? Like we talked about before, the next one has to take place on Mars. It just has to. Yeah, Fast yeah. and Furious 10 is going to be on Mars in fucking moon rovers. They've gone way, way too far. From it's too side. far. Way it's too far. far. It's not even close. I mean, you go, back, you go back to number one, and they're hijacking semis full of RCA crap TVs and VCRs. Toilet paper. And now and all of a sudden we're trucks of toilet criminals. paper. Yeah, and now they're fucking, they, <laughs> they got, got the rock ice. grabbing fucking torpedoes and <laughs> aiming it at fucking <laughs> other people's cars. And Black Hawk helicopters. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. No, He's holding it with his hands. Happen. Please, The Rock can do anything. Anything he wants. Except run for president, that son of a bitch. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. But no, it's... If you like... if you it, And I'll ask you, if you like this movie, please unsubscribe to our podcast, because you don't know what the fuck you're doing no, with No, stay life. subscribed. <laughs> it's for... It's it's honestly... It's for like 16 to 19-year-old boys. Maybe 20. Once sure. you turn 21 and can go to the bar and... In all honesty, let's be, let's be truly honest. This is for like 12 to 15 year olds. Yes. That are thinking about taking steroids. It's from, yes. 12 to, 12 to 18, I'd say. That's their wheelhouse they're going yeah. for. There's, there's no way the original fan of the movie, of the Fast and the Furious, was like, yes, this is awesome. No, I'm out, bro. I've grown. You know what I'm saying? I've grown. Sorry about the background noise, guys. There's people actually outside. Yeah, it they're having fun. I'm letting them go. We're, we're doing this podcast a little early because we want to drink more. Yeah, we're going to have a good time. We're going to be on the old mixer. Yep, we're going to try we're some things. Old... We're going to try a couple things. <laughs> yes, we are. So, yep. Yeah, uh, so, the quarantine, people need to, you know, be nice to each other a little bit. You know, I enjoyed the... Uh, old lady yelling at me at the uh, hardware store <laughs> to keep my distance. You better back up, bro. You're too close. She gave you the dial on. Bro, I wasn't... You're too close. I was at 15 feet away. She's like, I'm an old lady! Stay back! I'm like, I I got eyes. I could see. <laughs> and I didn't plan on going anywhere near you, ma'am. Just get your 9-volt batteries mm-hmm. and get the fuck on. Shivers barge. <laughs> well, I understand. Like I said, people are freaking out, man. It is, it is scary. I mean, we can't really say nothing else about it. Just protect yourself. I mean, sure, Wash I had, your ass. I had an old lady come up to me at Walmart, and I could see her reaching and struggling, trying to get to the top shelf. She mm-hmm. couldn't do it. She's trying to get a bottle of Don Julio tequila. Oh, she was Don, going top shelf, kind of baby. Lady. Well, I mean, top shelf at Walmart. I ain't saying a whole, whole lot. But. but it's Don Julio. Don Julio's good tequila. And I'm standing probably about 10 feet away from her, and she comes up, leaves her cart, and she puts her arm around me and says, Hey, son, could you possibly reach up to the chop shelf and grab me that bottle up there? Uh, okay. Yeah. And then she coughed dryly into your mouth. Oh, no. I mean, that'd be real <laughs> awkward, but She's, no. <laughs> she spit directly into your mouth after that. No, there was a mom with three kids behind me that was just sitting there staring, Mama. just absolutely appalled at me. It's like, I, what do you want me to do? You want me to make her get on a ladder? And grab it herself. Listen, if happen. if someone asks me to do something for them and they can't physically do it, I'm going to fucking do it. Absolutely. So no one's going to help this lady out? Well, it's just, You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you or nobody. It's just like the video of the fat lady oh, with the boy. cart full of fucking toilet paper. <laughs> and the old lady has one thing of toilet paper and the lady's trying to grab it for her. And the old lady slapped the shit out of her. Good. Hell yeah. And then the lady's like, what the fuck? You got 48 packages of toilet paper in your fucking cart, fatty. What are you going to do, eat it? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, granted, she's fat. Probably, she's probably no, she's probably ass. got, you know, in all honesty, she needs just to take a shit and shower. Waffle stomp that <laughs> shit down. <laughs> it is scary to see how people, everyone who says, oh, I'm a nice person, you really find out, like, what people are all about Absolutely. when they're up against the fucking wall. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And not even that, like, this isn't even, I mean, they're just fucking panicking, and they will stomp your fucking throat to get what they need to get. And I understand that you want to look out for yours and your own, but just realize that there's other people who actually, like, need this fucking shit. I watched a video of a guy at Walgreens go to the Tylenol shelf with his bag underneath it and just go, a whole shelf full of Tylenol. Right. 
Dude, what are you going to do? Just sit at home eating Tylenol? <laughs> four by know. four. And it, it has an expiration date. So, you know, once this pandemic is over, you're going to be... What are you going to be doing with all that Tylenol? What, you be just- what really pisses me off is the people who are hoarding all this shit and then selling it for, like, triple the price on, like, did Facebook you- Marketplace or... Oh, yeah. Or you, you are a fucking scum of the fucking earth. Did you see the bottle of Lysol for $171 on Amazon? Yeah. <laughs> $171 like, for fuck, a thing man? of Lysol. I thought, oh. sir, I saw a six-pack of toilet paper for... A- uh, was it ninety nine dollars on uh, Amazon? Or, I'm sorry, Facebook Market. Facebook. There's one roll for a hundred bucks. Oh one roll, God. probably not even the good stuff. No. Probably, and some idiot probably bought. It. That's the sad thing. Uh, probably. In all honesty, toilet paper is the least of my worries because if I shit, I'll just hop in the shower and wash my ass. Yeah, it, it is what it is. Yeah, I got one of those fancy things with, that comes down. Yeah, with I mean, string. Wow. It is what it is. Get up in there. Same See, the English know what's fucking popping. They're ahead of the game with these bidets. Yeah, I mean, you could order a bidet from Hello Tushy for 60 bucks. There you go. Just make sure you get the hot water hooked up to it, not the cold water. (laughs) Fuck that cold water, man. It gets you going in the morning. I'll wake you up. That's for damn sure. (laughs) A nice 32-degree blast in the butthole. (laughs) (laughs) Turn it on high. How do you go? So uh, before I got here, I was watching uh, Dodgeball. (laughs) A true underdog story. Which yeah. is a phenomenal movie. It's great. It's the, and it stands the test of time. It's one of those movies yeah. that, if you watch it, you're like, ha ha, yes. <laughs> it's still good. It's all right. You know, it, nothing changes. Michel. But then there's, you know, then there's other movies where you watch them, and you're like, oof, this is rough. Yeah. <laughs> this, no, there's a few, and you're like, ooh, this did not. This did not age this well. This couldn't be made today. I'll tell you what. Yeah, anything from, like, John Waters. <laughs> Like sixteen candles and shit. Yeah. That movie can't get made now. I seen a bunch of. So what did I see? Oh, I, I, I so the one podcast we were talking about Birds of Prey. I was like, you know, it looks good. We were talking about other, you know, feminists kind of going crazy about guys not wanting to see these movies and yada yada. And we were just like, we'll make a good movie and then we'll go see it. So me and my lady went and see Birds of Prey. And let me tell you guys, it fucking sucked. I liked it. <laughs> you did not like it. No. Yes. The whole time we're driving home, you're just like, something. Yeah, that something was missing. That wasn't very good. I liked it. It just wasn't as good as well. That's just make a good movie with strong female characters. That's fine. I don't care. But they're always. They always have to. They can't just have female leads. They have to bash the men while they're doing it. Mm-hmm. So Harley Quinn and the Joker split up because the Joker was taking credit for all her shit. One of the detectives isn't like a head detective because. You know, sh- the the female solved the case, but he took all the credit, and now yeah. he's in the lead. It's like, does that need to be just just say this girl is the detective and blah blah blah? Harley Quinn, they broke up because he's the Joker's a piece of shit. It's always yeah, about yeah. this and this and this. There's always some kind of agenda. It was just, oh, it was bad. Well, it was overacted. Well, that's like what you said too about the uh, Charlie's Angels remake. I didn't even know that movie came right. out, but everyone knew about this fucking movie. Yeah. Well, any female lead in movie now at the at during this Me Too movement is going to shit on men as hard as it can. But there's other characters in it that I have no idea who the fuck they are. So well, I don't have any. Wasn't Poison Ivy in it or something? No, it's um, Huntress or something. I have no idea who Huntress is. I'm not balls deep in the comics like that. Well, in DC too, we're Marvel kids. Yeah, I mean DC's got like Batman and Superman. Everyone else can fuck off. I mean, that's like it. <laughs> like even, even the uh, like the uh, the villains aren't even memorable. I mean, you got Lex Luthor. He's and, just a dude. And Bane. Yeah. I, uh, Batman, <laughs> I, I mean, Batman. The, I mean, the Joker obviously yeah. is probably. And the only reason why we know Batman, like the Penguin, the Joker, the Riddler, Catwoman, all those is from the fucking nineteen sixties fucking TV show. That we watched as kids because they replayed it up in the until animation it. series. And the animation series. <laughs> but Joker for sure is probably, well, no, Darth Vader. Darth Vader and the Joker are probably the two most popular villains of all time. Hands down. You guys want to fight me on it? No. I'm, tr- I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, Saddam Hussein. 
<laughs> He's a real person. <laughs> he was Bin Laden. You know, he, he was a real villain. I, I mean, yeah, touche, Sean. You're right. <laughs> you I spoke too soon. <laughs> Fictional villains of all time. So we're there we can go Big Bong King, too. Big Bong King? Bing Bong Kim. Bing Bong Kim. Hey, easy, easy. It's Kim Jong Un. Yeah, Kim Jong Un. Yeah, but he's a dick. We can fuck his name up all we want. Yeah, well, what happened to the movie? The fucking inter- uh, the interview. They shut that down because it's were still on about, Netflix. They were talking about yeah. bombing the states if they came out with that Bro, movie. They don't know what they're doing over there. <laughs> they could try. Did you hear that they shot? Is that true? Or my what's that? Was that like an Onion article? Someone had uh, coronavirus over there and they shot him. Is they that have, how they cure shit? <laughs> they have no coronavirus victims in North Korea. You know why? I know, but I heard that they but had you know, one. But you know why? Because, because they, they don't, don't report going. any of this shit. There's, well, there's a pile of burning bodies in North Korea right now. Well, they're now not allowed are, to go anywhere, are they? No. No one goes to go Well, North unless the, it fucking went over the fence. I mean, it's kind of like when we find <laughs> out where, that, where the virus came from. China's like, oh, no, we had nothing. And all of a sudden, bam, they had 800 deaths in one day. Well, that's the thing about this virus. It's 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 like a pyramid scheme. You got, you know, it is. a number one, then that affects three people. That goes to infect six people. It goes to infect twelve people. Goes to and it just keeps growing. Yeah. Schutz. I'm still gonna go to work. Schutz, hon. Absolutely. Schutz, hon. I mean, if you wouldn't mind. Kellen has like. Oh no, Kellen! What do you got over there, bud? I don't know. It's pretty rough. I took is, one that drink is that the Kessler's? Is that the Kessler special? Yeah, it is. I took one drink of it. And I just <laughs> looked at her like, "Why are you trying to kill me tonight?" I kind of want to do a shot. This edible is kind of weak, guys. I thought we were gonna have a quarantine shenanigans. So yeah, <laughs> it's not over yet. Daddy popped so an edible. Like- I mean, Watch, it's gonna come on like fucking Leonardo DiCaprio on Wolf Wall Street. <laughs> 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 the fucking. <laughs> Hmm? I'm not going anywhere. We, only thing we got is American honey in there. American I honey. Just like you, bet. American honey. <laughs> Pour it to the eyes. To the, the, no, the middle of the mask, please. I'm, on, I'm not trying to puke. Don't know. You? You did. Yes. Yeah, you did. I poured Jameson last. Nice try. No one has Jameson. You poured Patty's last. Well, anyway, Birds of Prey sucked. <laughs> um, if you want to go ahead and risk it for the biscuit, that really, that I mean, it's worth a... It's bad. It was... I thought it was bad. Because I got to see it. I, I thought I it was bad. Well, it's the thing Robbie that sucks is she plays she plays Harley Quinn I mean, fucking phenomenal. Yeah, I got you. How do you fuck that up? I got you. Hmm? I understand completely. I mean, I'll, I'll go see the movie, but it's not like I'm going to be like... Oh, that's the greatest piece of cinema I've ever seen in my life. The problem is is that her character is so... She plays it so well. The Harley Quinn character and the way she plays it is awesome. But yeah. the movie is just not good. It's not good? No. I feel, I feel bad because my daughter really wants to see it real bad. She'd and probably then, like it. And, and the old lady's like, oh, I don't know. But I'm like, yes, let's go see I it. I heard it was super Please. like gory, like kind of like Deadpool type. It wasn't at all. I mean, so I was kind of disappointed about that in a way, because my expectations were like through the roof. Maybe it wasn't that bad. I just was like super hyped, and then super disappointed. I mean, call it horrible. My all my kids have seen Suicide Squad. Oh and God, you want to talk? About <laughs> you want to talk about? All right, so yeah, I absolutely love Suicide okay. Squad. We'll let it. We'll it. let it go. <laughs> all right, let it go. Give her. Let it go. I've seen. Speaking of which, I've seen Frozen Two. Seen Frozen Again, Two? How many times have we seen Frozen Two, honey? I haven't seen in the past yet, week at all. Have kudos to two? kudos to fucking no. Disney though for for putting Frozen Two on Disney Plus. That's pretty for awesome. everyone to watch and stream. That's pretty good. Kudos to them. No, they no. You're locked in your house, so they're gonna make so you. Want to to Cheers, them. guys. Are we allowed to do this? Oh, we God. haven't touched oh, it yet. We touched them. Oh God! So just touched our tips. This is uh, to blame. Who can you blame? Dot com to BJ and to, Mo- to good movies. To good movies. Oh, it's so cold. Oh fuck me, run it. That's like American asshole. You know what looks really <laughs> fucking good? The new Candyman trailer. Have you seen it? Yes, we you watched. We watched. Have it. you seen it? I have. You remember it. old Candyman, right? <laughs> 
Candy Man, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Rick James. <laughs> no, the new Candyman no, trailer. No, the Candyman said that, too. Yeah. Oh, he's coming for you, bitch. The new one that's looks what he said. fucking awesome. Yeah, it looks... Uh, was it a... Uh, Peel. Jordan Peel. Jordan Peel. Rewrote it and directed it. I don't know anything to right. see it. I can't wait. Jordan Peel is the guy that did, uh, what was that, Get Out, and what's the other one? They, God damn it. Us? Us. He's the one who's done like all these the horror movies, that okay. have, like the psychological horror movies that have been coming out. Not the 1980s. <laughs> yeah. God, we're just, this is a movie heavy. Might as well. We've yeah. seen a badass trailer at the beginning. Well, you know, there's really not much to talk about being that we've all been sitting inside of our fucking houses staring I mean, at the fucking yeah, I mean, TV. Had, I mean, there's some stuff you can talk about. You can talk about how shitty it is being a stay at home with, you know, trying to homeschool children. That's pretty terrible. That is, like, what the I can't, fuck re- I can't relate. <laughs> so, school this week was just let out. And they don't even give, obviously, next week they have spring break, right? Absolutely, yep. Can't you just give them a week to adjust? Like, right away. Okay, we're canceling school, maybe indefinitely. And, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, you're going to have to fucking teach these kids. Yep. Sorry. So I've been home from work. I mean, the one, it's two, it's literally a five-hour job I have every day. Oh, yeah, at, at least. I, uh, the boys got four hours of schoolwork every day. Four hours. Holy fuck, On the dude. computer. And then the girls. And it's not it's not just them doing four hours of work. It's them doing ten minutes of work and being like, Dad, come yep. look at this. Dad. Yep. Mom, mom, is this right? I mean not 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 so much the boy, it's it's more the girls. The girls, yeah. Um, the two older ones are good, but the youngest one, it's okay I did this, now what? You have to go back in. And they don't give you one website to lock into. They give you four or five websites you gotta lock into, submit whatever work they want, pictures, videos. Because they actually asked the kids to do like an art project and then explain it why they did it that way. It's miserable. Yeah, it's terrible. It's Come a little problem. closer. It's, it, it, I want to feel you in my head. Oh yeah, feel it. <laughs> feel you inside me. <laughs> can you feel it? Oh, I can feel that it. Shit. Yeah, I feel. I feel for you guys. I really do. I I I can't imagine that you go from regular life where kids leave school, do their homework, sit at home. To you having to be like, all right, we're going to learn some history today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I seen a great meme at Maury, Maury Povich. Oh, God. And on it's the top good. it said, you said you love spending time with your kids. Coronavirus <laughs> test says that is a lie. <laughs> or the coronavirus quarantine <laughs> found out that is a lie. I, it I, is so frustrating being home with them all day. Love the kids. Love my kids, as do you, I'm sure. Absolutely. But I, I want to fucking kill them. We, we saw one that said, turns out, you're finding from this pandemic that your teacher's not lying. Your kids really are assholes. Yeah, 100%. Well, see, 100%. Now's Absolutely. the time for the attitude adjustments to come in. Oh, you're being a little fuck? There, you get what well, you get. Yeah. Well, it doesn't really work like fine that, line. Sean. Let's tell There's you. Let's line. teach you about fatherhood. You only get to just slap them around whenever you want. I'll come over and slap <laughs> your kids for a fucking cheap price. How dare you? <laughs> I'll slap everybody around. No, I'll tell you what. Good. You walk it's in my just... house. You get all the shot of pays out on the table. I'll say, Sean, do your job. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Sean's gonna be like the big fat Russian. <laughs> I'm just going to walk in with a roll of quarters That's in my hand. <laughs> if he dies, he, he dies. dies. <laughs> you need the homie to sock, or the homie to clown <laughs> fucking sock. <laughs> get you. Sock full of oranges. If you beat him with a bag of Valencia oranges, it doesn't leave bruises. So that, that's the crazy part, too. So it's just the time. So two hours for each kid, and then my daughter is about an hour. So you have four kids. Bella's an hour. Uh, well, it's not. <laughs> it's not. About, it's I guess it was a little longer, so a little shorter. So the first day this happened, it says, "Okay, they need to sign into their accounts." And my lady's like, "Okay, what's your account? I don't know. <laughs> what's your password? I don't know. What's yours? What's your account? I don't know. We never, we we never, you know, never, never had to use it. We never had to use it. <laughs> we we had the same thing except." The teacher sent home, like, a sheet that had everything laid out, and our daughter's sitting there, I don't know how to sign in. 
I don't know how to do this. Yeah. And she's telling that to my old lady. And meanwhile, she has a sheet with her username, login, <laughs> everything she needs. <laughs> Dead nuts in front of her? Everything. Yeah. And she just doesn't show her. And she's sitting there watching her struggle. It's in the blue folder at home. On the table. Oh, no. Right now. Jetta's, all of Jetta's stuff is in the blue uh, folder. I saw folks, it today. We're, this I'm like, gets really? to so see some marriage really? counseling happening right now, folks. It wasn't my fault. It's Jetta's fault. How many divorces mine. are coming out of this? All Spouses of them. Spouses being all at of home this <laughs> fucking <laughs> all day. From the court, I, I can tell you one thing for sure. She's tired of me getting home at 2 o'clock. I can tell you that for free. For free? Yes, for you free? were doing a charge just <laughs> that, before? <laughs> well, I mean, before I was going. Uh, I didn't Fuck. think about she it. She wants you Realistic. working late. I just saw it today, sweetheart. Oh, God. She's she's bubbling. She's doing. Oh, no. Oh, she's getting ready to explode. Well, I woke up and I, I made him breakfast. Those aren't fucking like eyes. Those are do, do, fucking do, 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 do. Look, look, her hand's even on screen. She's playing. Your hand looks really Italian right fucking now. Fucking laser beams. <gasps> We're talking about kids in school where Kayla, control your friend. Shut the fuck up before I kill you. And I give you all the credit for everything you've right, done. You heard that on audio. If she actually kills him, we're kind of accomplices. I'm... I'm raising my hand. I heard saying, no. nothing. I, I have nothing. What did she say? It. If the gun don't fit, you must quit. <laughs> Fucking A, you're right. <laughs> How dare you? Oh. So, I mean, the quarantine's going good. <laughs> you know what the best part about Pretty tonight great. is? You know what the best part about tonight you're is? Quarantined. I get to go home. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you know the best part about tonight is? I get to go home with that hot piece right there. My lady is in the uh, you, healthcare, you to go home with healthcare department, so she's working. I haven't been. So she comes home the first thing. So what'd you do all day? <laughs> <laughs> well, I took a shit and played what some video games. Do? <laughs> I don't know, babe. I'm streaming. I'm trying to make this family money. I showered three times. <laughs> I, I played some video games. Yeah, <laughs> showered six times. By the way, you're out of conditioning. <laughs> 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 my skin's never, my hair's never been so silky smooth. What's funny is Kayla was telling me a story about, um, I think she worked. You work with this lady, babe? Well, she was talking about how she buys shampoo and conditioner for her and her son at the same time. And she's like, the conditioner's always empty first. And she doesn't know why. I was like, I know why. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's not conditioning I just his exactly hair. Why. <laughs> he's not conditioning just his head of hair. That wasn't even the conversation. Yes, it was. Why is the conditioning conditioner no, gone before the shampoo? It was the checkout lady at Walmart. Wow. I mean, still. Bring it here, then. Get in front of the mic. It was the checkout lady at Walmart, and we were discussing the fact that I had children, so my conditioner is always gone first. And she goes, yeah, so I don't know where you pulled your conversation from. You also have two boys. Yeah, but that wasn't the conversation at all. All So then she goes, yeah, I try to use 10 pumps of shampoo and 10 (laughs) pumps of conditioner. That's a lot. That's a lot of shampoo and conditioner. That is an (laughs) overabundance. That's what I said. I was like, it's got to be leaking. It's it's two out of mine because the beard. The (laughs) shampoo the beard real nice. But nice habit. Well, you have a nice head of hair, hun. How many pumps? I also used to be a hairdresser, so I know that you don't need a lot. How many pumps? How much? One pump. One pump? One That's pump? Yeah, I used to. actually excessive. You definitely don't need to. <laughs> like, daily, I don't feel like it gets soapy. It should be dwindling down. I Conditioner don't f- isn't supposed to suck no, 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 no. I'm talking about the shampoo. How many pumps on the shampoo? You only no. need one. Really? No. Half a pump I men, feel like really. it doesn't sut up enough. It doesn't with really one pump. Up. Conditioner does not sut up at all. But even shampoo, it doesn't have to. Conditioner is like at least six pumps. That's what I just said. Condi- conditioner does not sut up. And then if I don't finish by then, then I need another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> God, we go through conditioner like crazy in this house. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff's just. I like silky hair. <laughs> Jeff's, just to bro- <laughs> Jeff's just broken down to taking the top off the fucking conditioner bottle. <laughs> it is. Just put my dick in it. <laughs> then I just fill it back up. <laughs> Whatever Why I take out so goes stringy? right back in. <laughs> Why is it so stringy? Now, <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> conditioner got real stringy all of a sudden. Yeah, every once in a while, you could really use to mix it up. <sighs> yeah? Yeah. Don't just leave it at the top. <laughs> Shake it. Just at the top? Yeah, you will leave it sitting like a fucking topper on a, on a fucking old-fashioned. You gotta shake it up. 
just give it a little shake. That's all you need. Just a little. Oh, we also got to say rest in peace to Kenny Rogers. Uh, yeah. The gambler has passed away today. He That's really sad. knew. He really knew when to fold him. He also knew when to hold him, but he also knew when to walk away and knew when, when to run. He never counted his money at the table. <laughs> no. There's plenty of time for counting <laughs> when the dealing's done. Classic. That's And that and Islands in the Stream are pretty much the only Kenny Rogers songs I know. <laughs> yeah. And it's sad because I'm a DJ. <laughs> but that's crazy how, like, you know, if someone has, like, a one hit or maybe, like, a two hit. I mean, they're famous for a while and then they eventually go away. I mean, he had like two hits, maybe. I mean, you could only list two. I get. I mean, for sure, everyone, everybody knows the gambler, yeah. but he's like still, well, was famous to this day yeah. off of one super popular song. Obviously, people who are fans of his will be like, "Fuck you! He's got great hits, you fucking young cunts." And that's fine. <laughs> I understand. Yes, it might be true. I don't listen to him like you did, but. As far as his mainstream shit, we I, like great I said, career. The only thing I, the great only ones I know is Gambler and Islands in the Stream and Kenny Rogers Roasters. The, the roasters. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I have St. Patty's suspenders. They go in the dark. What are you guys over there googling my suspenders? Do mine go in dark? Oh my god! Do what about Kellen's? At his ass. So, Kellen, sure, for Kellen, once in my life. our ladies go to Walmart for essentials. <laughs> yeah. And this is this is what they fucking they come and back also with. Some, like, some horrible Elvis glasses, <laughs> which I'll display. See? Like full on St. Patty's Day outfits. As soon as I seen, there's two full Walmart bags, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? This is not essentials, chick. I said essentials, babe. They were essential for Kayla's birthday. Jesus. I mean, I love the shit out of the both of them, but I'm not sure if they know what the meaning of essential is. No, you guys, from now on, we're going to the store. Let me essentials: water, toilet paper, you know, stuff, stuff to live. You know what's essential right now? We're dealing with an apocalypse. Okay. We're during a quarantine. The only thing. Oh, I'm happy. Let's talk about toilet shit. paper and all the other bullshit. Let me just tell you. Fuck toilet paper. Shit. Edible underwear. Oh God. Double. I'm sure you're a cherry guy, aren't you? No, but think about it. Okay, so you get to wear them, yeah. and you get to yeah, eat them. Eat tell me anything That's else you get to do that with. Terrible. I don't have an edible shirt. I don't. I have a Brett. Do you have an edible bra? That's like a six-course meal, brother. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm a big guy. You can you can feed the whole family on an edible bra for no, Brit. No, 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 no. I can feed. Yeah, but you can't feed that to the kids. <laughs> That's like fucking cannibalism. Here's your mom's bra. Eat up. <laughs> what the fuck eat. are you even talking about? We're never gonna go. We're never gonna go hungry because mom's got a drawer, edible drawer. <laughs> God, mommy. Not drawers, bra. It's going to get real fucking weird. Hell yeah, brother. Around here. In, in all honesty, once they shut Wisconsin completely down. My daughter's like, I want another fruit roll-up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's mommy's underwear. Kill it. Kill it. It's still sitting here like, that's your mommy's bra. Shit. What? Well, I love fruit roll-ups too, so. Who doesn't? For real? Fruit by the shit. foot. Yeah, oh, that's good stuff right there. They just brought Dunkaroos back, guys. And just Mondo's. Like, you know, holy fuck, bro. That's like half the tin. We got a Wisconsin dipper up in here. You but, literally put half the fucking tin in your mouth. And you and you gut those down, don't you? What are you doing over there? Seven. Tell us what's happening in your do mouth you, right now. Do you now. gut that? It's like a party right now. A do you, party of what? I'm, I'm just saying, do you gut it? <laughs> I tried dip once. Sorry, I fucking hands. almost threw up. Do you gut it or do you use a spitter? Okay. I was going to say, I, got, I work with two dudes that gut it. And I fucking... Oh, it. the <laughs> fuck, <laughs> bro? Yeah, it's... Who the I, fuck? I'm, I'm like, no wonder why the bathroom smells like wintergreen every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start dipping? The grizz shits. Why, why, did you, why did you start dipping? Why? It's a I better was, question. All right. So, I started... I started dipping because I was getting a ride from the school to the practice field for soccer. Say it. From the you s- couldn't smoke? 
from from a senior, and I was told you ain't getting rides anymore unless you take a chew. It was my old lady's brother, Justin. Justin. Shut up. Say it. We. Shh. It was Justin Volbrecht. Quiet. He said I wasn't getting rides from him anymore unless I had a chew. <laughs> so I took a chew. I took my, my second practice after I made varsity my freshman year. Erlin on the fucking side. We were doing laps. You puked hard, didn't you? The three whistle drum. <laughs> first whistle. First whistle walk. How'd second it go? whistle jog. Third whistle sprint. I puked my fucking ass off. And you're like, give me some more Skull of that. Skull apple. Oh. Skull apple. Oh, bro. On a hot summer day, left, oh. on, left on the dashboard. <laughs> oh. it, it's not what you're thinking about. It's not warm apple pie. Right. It's like warm, rotten but, asshole. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, That's what it is. It's bad. It's bad. It's, it's, Just it's, what it's warm apple shit that, it is. that came out of a deer's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Real bad. Like, Fucking a. I uh, used to do the bandits. Uh, skull bandits. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. And, and I would just, <laughs> I would just line my mouth. Horseshoe. <laughs> just horseshoe it. With two of them. And no, I, I would do four. <laughs> and then make it about five minutes before one drop hit the back of my throat, and it was game over. Just uh, baby. I never Can't do it. I tried dip. Uh, Probably just the one time, I think. And it was... No, cigarettes was the way to go. I watched my stepfather fucking take a big chug out of his spitter before. <laughs> that pretty much <laughs> oh, ended, no. it, ended it for me. That really makes a huge I, difference in a guy's life. I'm going I'm to tell you the story. Shit. I'm going to tell you the story. I go, over, I go over to the house. I had a vaporizer with me, which is a weed thing. And normally you do one bag and it's 97% THC. So you're going to get high as fuck. Hell yeah. My stepfather <laughs> does the first bag, and he's like, ooh, that's nice. But then he goes, and t- t- goes on to tell me how awesome he is at smoking weed and fills up another bag. Wait, a bag? They're bags. They're like uh, gallon-sized Ziploc bags full of smoke. I feel like I would never walk again. <laughs> so he hits the second bag, and I'm like, might want to pump the brakes. Oh, no. Might want to pump the brakes. I'm just saying. You just might want to pump them just a little bit. Give it a minute. Let it fucking marinate. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Fills up the third bag. I go, you really might want to pump the brakes. It's like a scene from every movie where the guy's like going and you're trying yeah. to stop him the whole time. And then finally you just throw up your hands and say, go for it. So <laughs> good luck. Hammers down a third bag. Hammers down a fourth bag. And now I can start seeing him. He's kind of got the wobble going. And he looks at me, and I go, don't do it. He goes, I'm going to do one more. Oh, no. And this is within a half hour span. (laughs) So this isn't like over five hours. This is 30 minutes. He didn't even, like, let it kick in from the first bag? He fills up the fifth bag. (laughs) The fifth? The fifth bag. five? The fifth bag. The fourth. No, third and fourth went down quick. Fills up the fifth bag. I watch him take it. And I could see as he's holding it in, I'm starting to see the wheels start kind of fucking the ship coming apart on the way back through the atmosphere. He put he blows the hit out, leans his head back and goes. And then sits up. Like E.T. out of the shed? Like, yeah. That's how I jump in the hut. <laughs> and sits up and goes. Oh, I don't know where I went there. <laughs> <laughs> and I just said, I'm going to take this away from you now. And he's like, oh, I'm thirsty. And, gra- <laughs> and grabbed his I spitter. Oh, I God. fucking bet. And grabbed his spitter, cracks it open and goes. <laughs> and just held it. <laughs> Spits back into the bottle. He goes, why didn't you warn me? I go, because I was getting ready to fucking die out laughing when he swallowed it down. You he, warned him after the second bag. I warned him. But it, after that, Zach comes home. My brother comes home later that day. He goes, yeah, last night I did a bag, and I was sitting cross-legged on the edge of my bed. And I passed out, woke up, faced out, ass up on the ground. <laughs> 
And I'm just like, what is wrong with you fucks? <laughs> like, dude, just get high and mellow the fuck out. Hello. I don't know what you're trying to prove. Mellow. That was like the night when Frankie was here just... Circle since he got here. Yeah, fucking cheese out of his car. Blunt after blunt after blunt after blunt yeah. after. No, blunt it, it was just joints. After it blunt was joint, after, so joint, after, after joint, joint after yeah. joint Sorry, after joint after joint after joint after joint. I'm like, dude, how high do you need to be? He's like, I don't know why we could smell it inside. I go, dude, because it hasn't stopped rolling <laughs> since you got here. <laughs> Like, he'd smoke and someone get here and he'd be like, oh, fuck, you're here? And he'd, like, just get excited start about him there and just and start rolling. <laughs> and then someone else, hey, yeah. And you just start rolling. And then the VR headset went on and he wasn't high enough to experience Saturn's rings. And he's like, oh, I'm going to get another one of those. It's one of those things where, like, when you drink, you know when you hit that wall. Like if Some you have, people do. if you have that, if you hit that wall where it's, if I drink anymore, I'm gonna throw up all over the place. Yep. I feel like that was shots. Sure no. Like I'll do a shot and kind of choke it down, and I'm gonna yeah. like, that's it for shots. There's no more shots. It's like, oh yeah, that was I, the one for me when I'm drinking beers, and if I'm really drinking, I'll get to you know whatever number. And I take a sip of it, and I don't even taste the beer anymore. I just taste the alcohol. Fuck yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm done. That's when it's good. You know no, it's good. That's, that's what I know <laughs> if I finish it. It's one of those ones where you're drinking it, and you're just like, mm, chew this bitch down. I'll be good. But, yeah, alcohol and weed, know your limits. Heroin, shoot as much as you can. <laughs> it's just... Fill that syringe all the just way Just be up. responsible. Do whatever Sorry. you want to do. Just be responsible. I mean, you're quarantined, right? You know, push your limits, I guess. You're in your house. <laughs> Don't do what Well, if I'm they saying. see any bums in the park, they know what they're there for. In all honesty, uh, right, they're there for jobs. How many people are going to, how many homeless guys are going to be gone because of the, uh, the old COVID-19? How many are they going to be gone? Yeah, how many people are going to die... The homeless. I don't know. I mean, this all feels like population control to me. It does, but in every model they put out, they get don't close. Mm-hmm. Tell us. Kellen every model God they put damn out, it. they don't they don't project anything more than a two million life loss in the United States. We have three hundred twenty one people. Three hundred twenty one million people yeah. in the United States. So you're talking less than what? Two percent. All right. So I know, but everyone's even ones like a lot, you know. Yeah. So it's, it's not a lot. It's not like when you said the when you said the whole number, it seems like a lot. But then, yeah, when you go against how many people there actually are, you're like, right. oh, that ain't that many. It's not. Everyone That's loved fucking Avengers, didn't they? When he snapped a finger, <laughs> cleaned half the. It's like fucking. Thanos. Yeah. yeah, it's the Thanos, the Thanos virus. This is the Thanos stamp. It I mean, sucks. You know, you, you can make yeah. jokes about it and do whatever you want, but it is, you know, people do seriously freak out. And oh. people just need to be it's respectful. You know, you need to wash your hands. Just because you're not scared of getting it, like I was thinking about this the other day. If I was fucking between like 21 and 25, I wouldn't I wouldn't have gave a shit. I was like, no one's around? Dude, let's fucking party. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't I, be thinking about other people. That's the only thing work. that scares me. I'm not worried about, like, myself. But I'm worried about, let's say, someone comes over and... It's the people around you. It's the people around me. It's the elderly. It's, you know, it's Sean. It's Big Bear here. I'm worried about your old oh, ass. Oh, the, the elderly, yeah. 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 <laughs> but no, our moms. Like, if I got it, whatever, too. you know, I could probably beat it. But, yeah. you know, Frankie... He's, you know, his dad just got done dealing with cancer, and, you know, he's very susceptible. I mean, even if he got just the flu, he could die from the flu. So it's just, it's touch and go over at his house. Just please think so, about other yeah, people. Yes, we give Frankie shit for not for not coming out and this being, like, the perfect thing for him because he loves being in the basement. But in all honesty, he's got the perfect point to stay home. So right. We will, we will give him shit, but we also had it set up where he could have skyped in today and been on the podcast nah he's like i said he's in virtual reality now him and fucking the canadian boys 
Was it Jedi Monkey? Jedi Monkey. Shout out to Jedi Monkey. We're gonna. I'm gonna put his J E T. Put his YouTube up there. E I E, Monkey. I mean, they've been handling it. So, do your thing, guys. You wanna live in VR? It's all good. Um. But yeah, just think about other people. For you. Go. When you're fucking grabbing every single fucking sheet of toilet paper there is, you know. I'm glad they started putting limits on this shit. Well, yeah, and, you know, like I said, there's... It's just people need to respect each other. Love each other. It's... T- it's it, just remember 9-11 when everybody was all... Fuck, everybody, we were one nation. Everybody was like, yeah, fuck goddamn Bin Laden. That's the thing. It was great for a while, right? Yeah, and then they, eventually, it just goes the, back. The shine wore off. Everyone was polite. Like you said, yeah. high five and how you doing? Yeah, how's family? How's everybody doing? Eventually, it all goes back to people being fucking assholes. It's it's weird when I get you know I'll give I give people the head nod. I, you know, if you make eye contact with somebody, give them a head nod. How you doing? How's your day? Well, you know, someone just said being, the fucking finger guns are coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking all about it, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm a thumbs what? up guy. Finger guns. I'm are a coming thumbs back. up guy, but yeah. Yeah, forget the trucker wave. A finger gunner. But no, Frankie was telling us a story about it at work. This guy's fucking coughing on everyone's paperwork, you know, not thinking about the repercussions, just thinking he's being funny and being a fucking asshole at the same time. He's rubbing, he's coughing on his hands, he's rubbing it on paperwork. He went up behind Frankie and fucking coughed on his back. Frankie basically just turned around and shoved him right into a fucking car and said, don't fucking do that to me. And the guy's like, what, you afraid of getting the corona? He's like, no, but I'm afraid of giving it to my dad who has fucking cancer, you piece of shit. And it's like, that's the thing people don't think about. It's is ever, that fucking shit. A yep. lot of selfishness goes in with this stuff. So, love thy neighbor. It's in the book. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, I love South Carolina. It's in one of the books. Don't love them. Yeah, we're not we're not going to talk about religion because I can really burn fucking religion down right now. How dare you? The Onion is hilarious. <laughs> Have you read any seen any? Of I've the, seen a couple of fill me in. The coronavirus is not a reason to molest children. <laughs> was one of them. <laughs> well, I mean, said the Pope. <laughs> Now that's a, a complete Catholic thing because Catholics only want to do that. Right. They said the churches are closed down. At least the children will be safer. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, good. Yeah. And I, just I would burnt down tonight. In, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I'm gonna get shot on the drive home. I still there. Uh, <laughs> the uh, unfortunately, our merch company has shut down productions right now because of uh obviously obviously uh, COVID nineteen so where are they out of? Uh they're one's out of Pennsylvania and the other one office in Pennsylvania, one office in New uh Vegas. So yeah, they're shut down. In New Vegas. In New Vegas. Yeah, not that's that. that old bullshit. Pennsylvania, <laughs> Pennsylvania that and Las bullshit? Vegas. Is that by Tallahassee? Yeah. I don't know. It's by Hollywood, California, uh, Hollywood, Florida. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, it's you know I would send you to our merch site, but there's you'll never get your package. So hold off on buying merch until either they get the all clear to go back to work, or we find a new merch company to go through. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. And with that being said, that brings us to the end of another wonderful, juicy ass podcast. <laughs> So, with that being said, for Jeff, for Kellen, and for, for Frankie, Frankie and at home, <laughs> thank you, BJ, for coming on. Who can you blame.com? Go check it out. We'll see you again next week for another fun filled, quarantined episode of The Gentleman's Den. Thanks.